welcome. Uh, my name is Randy Delory. I'm the Liberal candidate for Anti Kanish. Um, what can I say about myself? Um, I'm from Heatherton, that's where I was born. Um, I went to school, I went to St. Evacs, and got a Bachelor of Information Systems degree. From there, I went and uh, worked in industry in Moncton, New Brunswick. And then, I, uh, while I was there, I studied and completed my master's and went on and had an opportunity to come home and teach at St. Evacs and begin my PhD studies, uh, which I'm uh, currently a PhD candidate in the management program. My background from a community-based perspective, uh, which would be most relevant to this evening's discussion, is the work I've done in the past three or four years relating to community schools. Um, some of you may be aware of the progress in the uh, last few years. Uh, both Heatherton and Maryvale Community Schools were under threat for closure. Uh, I was a very active member of the group of, of parents and concerned citizens and, and community, excuse me, community members who made the case, or rather I should say attempted to make the case. And I suspect many of the groups and organizations here uh, understand the challenging time that we had uh, bringing a case forward regardless of how well documented, how much research we put into it, uh, to have the elected officials and the administrative officials um, take heed of what we had to say. Um, and that is a very big part of why I am uh, put my name forward to run. Um, is because I think that there are a lot of groups out there who have had similar struggles and challenges uh, dealing with uh, elected and administrative officials. Uh, and I think uh, I, I have a voice uh, that I will uh, use uh, to help make sure that people are heard uh, from Anakin Ish in Halifax. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is Morris Smith. Uh, I am the candidate for MVP in this election. Um, I was uh, elected previously in October uh, uh, 09. Uh, in a by-election. Um, I ran in the June election, but I was uh, uh, s uh, defeated by uh, the Honorable uh, Mr. McIsaac, and uh, he, uh, uh, because of family issues, was not able to carry on in his role as the elected member, and so we had a by-election in October, and I ran at that time, and I was elected then. Um, I uh, served in the House uh, from that time until uh, May uh, of um, uh, 2012, at which time I was appointed as Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure Renewal, and I was also appointed as Minister of Gaelic Affairs. Uh, you don't get to say, Angus, well, no, you don't get to just be Minister of something or other. They also tag a few things on as well. So I'm the Minister in, in charge of the Insurance Act, in charge of the Sydney Tar Ponds Project, in charge of the, uh, charge of the Sydney Steel uh, Corporation file, um, and I uh, most recently was put in charge of the um, uh, inter-provincial bus uh, transportation uh, system. So um, um, I um, was a student here at St. Abex, graduated in 1970. I'm fortunate to say that I met my wife while I was here as a student, and uh, that's just one of the many things that Andy Kanish has given to me. Uh, and I, I uh, ran uh, in part, uh, I had a career, a full career, almost, well, I, I was a lawyer in Andy Kanish for over 35 years, and uh, for 34 of those years, uh, I was a legal aid lawyer. Uh, poverty issues are obviously uh, uh, important to me and, and something that I've uh, dealt with for many, many years. Um, so I see my role as MLA as an opportunity to give back to this community uh, for the many benefits that they've given to me, and uh, that's why I'm in this uh, campaign to uh, make things better for our community. Hi there, my name is Darren Thompson. Uh, I'm the PC candidate in the election for Um I'm my, married to my wife, Michelle. We have three children, Matthew, Rachel, and Stephen. Uh, I myself have been a lifelong resident of Anakinish. I grew up in this area. I went away to go to university like most people do, but I was fortunate enough to be able to come back. Uh, I work as a physiotherapist in town, um, up at Sturry Area Physiotherapy, so I, as I go on my campaign tour, I see a lot of former patients. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good, because they don't want me to stop being a physiotherapist. But I encourage them, I want to stay being a physio no matter what happens. So. Um, I did go to St. Evex as well. I graduated from Dr. John Gillis before that, went to St. Evex, graduated in 1991 with a Bachelor of Science, worked at my family business for five years, then I went off to school in Scotland to take my physiotherapy degree. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, my wife and I were over there, and uh, our oldest was born there. So he's in the Gaelic program right now, and we look forward to going back there next year on the Gaelic trip. So there's a lot of... Uh, links to that, that country for us, especially with my ancestors. I've been heavily involved with the Hanikanish Highland Society over the past, especially my family. 
and uh, I've been involved in the local community with soccer as a coach and uh, administrator, uh, hockey. Uh, I was on board member of the Regional Development Authority before its closure. Um, and, and I was a candidate too in the last election for the, uh, in the uh, 2009 by-election that uh, Mr. Smith elected. Uh, during that election, that was really when I had an eye-opener of what we face as poverty in this area. Uh, when you get to go around door-to-door, -door, you see it for real. And for most people who grow up in Andy Kanish, they don't realize the extent of it, but I had a good glimpse of it, and it was a real learning experience for me. And uh, it was a good education for me, and I want to work towards solving those problems with everybody else.